Hey gang, this is Dwayne from ITMagicKey.com and today we're going to go over what's the difference between a hub, a switch, and a router. The first thing we're going to talk about is a big dummy. A hub doesn't care about what you think and what you want to happen. So let's say that you want to send some data to one person, to one device. A hub does not care. A hub is going to send information to everybody on that network and everybody that's connected to that device. That's what makes it a dumb device. So instead of just being smart, being intelligent, and sending it directly to the person that's supposed to receive it, it sends it to everybody. Next up is a switch. A switch works at layer two of the OSI model. A switch is a lot smarter than a hub. So a switch uses MAC addresses to figure out where it's supposed to send stuff. And a MAC address is just a physical address of a device. So instead of just sending it to everybody, it's going to actually send it to the correct person and to the destination it's supposed to go to. Next up is a router. It works at layer 3 of the OSI model. It uses IP addresses to forward information to the next destination. Another name for a router is your default gateway. The main purpose of a router is to get you outside of your network and onto other networks, aka the internet. So let's say that it takes 40 routers to get to Google, right? In technical terms, it takes 40 hops to get to Google, okay? In IT terms, every router that you have to go through is called a hop. So quick quiz, what's the difference between a hub, a switch, and a router? A hub is just a big dummy. It's going to send it to everybody. A switch main purpose is to connect all the devices inside of your network, and it's a lot more intelligent than a hub because it'll send it to the proper destination. Then a router main purpose is to actually get you outside of your network and onto the internet. All right, gang, this is Wayne from ITMagicKey.com. And other than that, I'll see you in class.